All right, everybody. We uh, are Rainmakers. We have a very special, uh, they're always going to be special, but this is a, a very special uh, Q&A and acceleration, right, webinar. And this is this is our Terminator edition because we're going to especially, especially cover uh, what we went over uh, on the, the last webinar we did. We did it on Tuesday last week that just lit people up. They absolutely loved it. I'm not I'm not in Miami right now. I'm in uh, I'm in Boca Raton. I'll get up and say hey. Who's this guy hanging out? Hello guys. Mohammed's here, and it's a it's a beautiful day. It's a uh, right gorgeous day at the ocean. Money flying around. Mohammed and I are going to be meeting with uh, Machine Gun Mike Phil Same in a uh, in about two hours. Um, uh, maybe a little more. I got to do Greg's webinar first, but then we're going to be uh, meeting with. Uh, with Mike Del Same over at Groove, I know some some good stuff is going to come from that. On this episode today, we've uh, we've actually already got Greg Morrison live with us. We're going to talk to him uh, a little bit about things at the beginning. Mahomedy actually has a reveal for you. Megan Lee has a reveal. She uh, well, really painstakingly went through. Uh, those of you who've already watched uh, or or rewatched right the first Terminator workshop episode, then we kind of ended with a little bit of a cliffhanger because we uh greg did that that knockout punch 23 minute i believe it was might have even been longer lesson on ordering content uh, megan was on she was watching it she was blown away she was blowing up my phone she's like this is awesome um so so she actually um prepared that uh for us um you know to be able to additionally reflect with greg we got humongous news uh, from from Greg today, uh, so I'm just going to say a little bit of a prayer at the beginning of things that you, uh, for some of the people that are jumping on with us. Uh, I'm going to pray actually the way that I normally pray. I actually don't run around uh, doing the Lord's prayer all that much, but you know it's kind of universal and people like it, so sometimes I might do that. But today I'm going to say things a little bit differently. Um, so Heavenly Father, uh, please let Your will be done, no matter what. Uh, how can this world become uh, as perfect as can be with or with or without my help? Um, I acknowledge you, and I want to um, uh, ask for uh, you know, wisdom and health. And for you to care for you know people like a, a little infant, we have such special people here today. We have Greg Morrison, uh, Mohammed is here with us. Uh, Megan's going to be with us here uh, today, um, and you know possibly some others. Of course, everyone who's in the audience say uh, always uh, shout out David. And um, yeah, I, you know, just lo uh, love you, Lord, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. I mean, could go a little deeper. Uh, I could go a little bit into uh, talking about you know really wanted to be guided with law of implication and so forth. That law of implication uh, webinar yesterday with David was lights out. So this is this is a special day, a special moment. I see that that uh, that Megan has jumped on. Um, Greg, I, I want to start by congratulating you. Um, you know, uh, this weekend you had uh, even more news, um, and it works so perfectly with the uh, with the first episode of the Terminator workshop that we started with last week. Do you want to do you want to uh, break the news? Yeah. So I had a uh, I think it was. Thursday, maybe I had a two hundred eighty thousand dollar sale come through uh, for and gold. And this is the exact same thing we were talking about on the workshop. Yeah, yeah, and then I also have another one hundred sixty six thousand dollar sale that's in the paperwork stage, so it's close. Uh, it, I mean, it's what? not guaranteed to finish, but it's been in the paperwork stage for a couple of weeks, so we'll see if that one finishes. But okay. you know, the point is, like, you get these leads in, and they keep piling up, and it's just it's more and more people that, and I don't do anything. Like, once the leads are in, it's the it's the the sales team doing all the work for their program. Like I don't have to do anything. I send the leads, they work on them. It's like over the last couple of weeks, they're working on, this. working on them. Like Kelly's working right. on the sales team saying, right. how can we do a better job? How can we, you know, convert more people for our affiliates? How can we pay the best commissions possible? Uh, unbelievable news, unbelievable news. Let's, let's go, let, let's jump into the, the Facebook group. Let's get some, some feedback going there. I'm going to go to the fusion, uh, the fusion, Lab Facebook group, where I'm uh, I'm here all the time. Extremely engaged group. I'm I'll, I can quickly pull up the engagement settings uh, so everyone can see. It's it's really just so active. Yes, yesterday was looks like 600 people in the group checking in, uh, caring, um, changing their stars. Right, we're here to to give our boss what the middle finger award. Right, like Greg. Greg, Greg gave uh, his boss the middle finger award. So did Mohammed. So did Megan. Uh, so we, we we want that for you too. Um, Cassidy was nice enough to make this kind of little bit custom artwork 
for you yesterday. So I'm going to pin this post uh, that's right here. Uh, Cassie, uh, uh, we printed up this little uh, uh, diagram for you. And, uh, and, you know, we just really wanted to punch it up for you today. So this is where the, uh, uh, this is where the feedback is going to be. So give me, uh, if you're just blown away by what, what Greg just said, how about just hashtag Greg? Hashtag Greg, another, you know, talk about calling our shot. You know, we go in there uh, and I'll, I'll drop the, the link to the, the Facebook group. I guess everybody, of course, has it, but still, uh, just to make it a little bit easier, I'll, I'll drop that into the chat. Facebook.com. And remember, whenever we're, we're chatting and we're in the Facebook group, um, especially during these webinars, it's sending notifications out to others to let them know, hey, jump in, uh, get it a little bit more energetic. People respect what you inspect. You know, help help you see you doing it more. Let's see who's who's already checking in, clicking on this hotel internet. So I don't know how much of this stuff I'll be able to get away with, but uh, I think I need to refresh this screen. Of course, you guys can thank Cassidy for uh, for for helping getting you guys fired up, guys and gals, right? So we got uh, Chris, Alex, Matos, Alex. But by the way, just uh, so many of these people I'm seeing: t uh, uh, Timothy, uh, Greg. Congrats, Kim. Seen you from last week, Frank Son, a lot, a lot of familiar faces. There's Mohammedy, Mohammedy, uh, uh, you know, was a Greg's apprentice, uh, and now he's changed his stars. Joseph, Joseph Son, uh, Jared, hashtag, uh, hashtag Greg for gold, just, just wonderful. Um, yep, thanks, Cassie. That exactly, uh, Mohammedy gave us a shout out. Yep, she, uh, she uh, got made up and and did it uh, nice for you guys yesterday. Chris Spellman, who's also in the Facebook group. And also a, a rainmaker. He actually took this picture, so it was like a little bit of a, a little bit of group group effort. I'm going to give her the wow because I think she is wow, and that's awesome. Oh, look at this. We got Megan. Megan's on. She's she's waiting in the wings on this webinar. Jason. Yeah, thanks everybody. Really, really wanted to be engaged. Really wanted to be vibrant. Um, th this will be where I'll be looking for your questions. If you're coming right now and go to a webinar, I can try to sneak a peek over. But I'd really like to keep um, the focus here. Yeah, Et uh, chimed in as well. Jason, great stuff. So, um, so Greg, when we finish uh, when when we finish up last time, um, what we looked over, and, and of course we got to get Greg ready because he's got his upcoming traffic tsunami webinar. Mm -hmm. The reason, oops, the reason that we hold this, um, we got the ocean breeze right now, so there may be a, a, a few honks and bonks outside, um, but it's uh, it's just too nice not to not to enjoy just the the ocean air. Um, uh, you know, Greg, when we left when we last left off. You are walking us through the detailed paces to help rainmakers start their first affiliate website, and and we decided, hey, what's working best for you right now is this incredible program that uh, Kelly Felix set up for us. Um, that that you worked so hard with Kelly that you know, frankly, I've been working very hard behind the scenes, David and I, with Kelly on this, really trying to make it great. This webinar, you and Dan and Greg, this first Terminator workshop episode. Because like, what is this? What is this webinar? This is Q and A and acceleration. This is like a half coaching program where we're kind of fully coaching about what's in Maps Rainmaker, and that includes the bonuses. And we've got this star-studded bonus package right now. This Terminator uh, workshop. It's a Terminator workshop about doing affiliate SEO and even e-commerce. And Greg is blowing the lid off this stuff for us. So he took us just detailed through the paces. Um, on that first Terminator workshop episode, but we had such a big kind of series of events after we played that video, um, you know, that, that tr you know, focused training clip that Greg did, Ellie Felix got on, and then next thing you know, Mohammedy was on, so it just really things got kind of crazy, and I, I just kind of said, like, look, you know, and I knew I even said it, I think, three or four times, we got to get Megan Lee on talking about this, so, um, so I'm, you know, I think that you, you guys, guys and gals, right, can tell that I'm pumped up about this. Greg, as you reflect on, um, and of course, anybody who's got specific questions, and, and Megan Lee's gonna really help you with this because she has studied Greg in a certain way, uh, in a singular way, because she's such such a, um, a fan of on-site SEO and conversion and really making that work and, and the, you know, the sneaky ways that we can bump our rankings if it's adding an FAQ and all this kinds of stuff. Um, she's such a fan of Greg, so you know, we'll be able to lean on Megan today, but if you have comments, if you have questions, got a hashtag Megan Lee from James. James always fired up. Also, uh, 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 what is it? Uh, Winand. Uh, Winand came on with a hashtag Greg and gave us the triumphant baby 
uh, who's, a, I guess, a Pittsburgh Penguins fan. He must have won the championship that year. Um, so we're, and, and again, uh, for those of you who are in this uh, you know, beautiful post that, that Cassie made up for us, uh, Chris helped uh, with it. So you can, um, of course, like, I think it's pretty obvious because we're just getting tons and tons of comments. So if you have questions, you can uh, post it in there. But while we're waiting for your questions, while we're waiting for your comments, right, with your takeaways, that's one of the things that we want to do is help focus you and help not just get your questions answered, but accelerate you. Because we really want to take you through this painstaking detailed step-by-step -step and uh, give you the perfect red carpet to join Traffic Tsunami, Greg Morrison's full coaching program that he does with Joe and with Dan. Um, in fact, we've had a, a ton of people join from Map Framemaker into, yeah, we may have to, they're going to keep that up. We may have to cut loose that. We'll give them one more chance not to beep at us like that. Um, <laughs> uh, anyways, I'll, I'll, I'll be on mute here at, uh, in a second anyways. Um, but if you have those takeaways about this this uh, this training, and again, the reason I do these, these half coaching webinars right before Greg's webinar, uh, which is every other Tuesday for Traffic Tsunami, is to also accelerate you onto Greg's webinar. That's where Mahomedy and I are going to be going uh, after this uh, uh, to, to, to join Jag, uh, Greg and to join people. Uh, enough, enough, enough is enough. Mahomedy, can you cut that thing loose? I don't know why at a resort like this, they would have beeping, beeping, beeping uh, stuff. Um, okay, we have cut the beeping off. Mohammed and I have deprived ourselves of beautiful ocean air, so you don't have to hear beeping. Um, so, so Greg, with with that kind of uh, like lengthy introduction, um, what are some of your takeaways? What do you think? Uh, you know, two or three of the key points that really stand out to you um, that you may not have known that that you figured out and and put in that video, put in that training about ordering content that you think that maybe people should a little bit extra focus in on. Well, I mean, number one, I think some people think that you have to spend like a whole ton of money on content. And that's not necessarily the case uh, for me. I mean, content is more uh, sometimes about how you position it, whereas you know, you could have the best writer in the world. But if they're pushing someone too much to buy somewhere, they could not convert at all. And you just paid 20 times the price, whereas sometimes non-professional or non-expert writers they more give a realistic feel sometimes and i think that's kind of why my is converting so well because it has that realistic feel uh where i'm not pushing people too much and it's it's you and know it's, it, it, it is structured it's not sloppy it's not right. it's well thought out it's disciplined right we talked about how uh you have data that that shows that when people are hitting this special kind of greg review page that that people are clicking at least two links, if not three or four of the links. Um, you're, you're you're setting these people up. These writers, they're writing, you know, even if it's for two two cents a, a word or two and a half cents a word, they're still writers, right? Oh, yeah. like they're still highly regarded writers who, who are doing a good job. They're just not necessarily like a university professor, right? And I think that's that's where people think they have to go, especially when you enter something that's like so high dollar. They're like, man, I'm gonna be, you know, having potential six-figure sales, seven-figure sales. I need a really good writer. And by a really good writer, I think you make a good point. It doesn't mean like uh, some like you're using bad writers. Just me. I mean, by a really good writer, I mean someone who specifies in financial that you're paying like a dollar per word, which is ridiculous, right? Uh, I can afford it, and I still don't want to pay that much for a writer. So having the kind of okay, because Greg, that, that's 50 times the cost of it. For, for about 40 times, if it's you know, 2.5 cents, right? So that's 2.5 cents versus a dollar. It's That's 40 times as much. I mean, I, I'm not like perfect with math, but what is that? So, so what is, I guess, 100 divided by 2.5, I believe, or 225? No, 2.5 would it be 100 by divided by 100 pennies divided by 2.5. Yeah, it's 40 times as much. Yeah. So 40 times as much. Right. And I mean, so I was at the top of the leaderboard in February. Uh, last month I was fourth, third or fourth, and then this month I'm like second or third, right? And all of the top guys, like throughout the whole list, like the top 10 list, almost all of them have super, super, super high, you know, authority writers writing for them in the financial niche. But I'm out doing almost all of them. So, wow. You know, uh, during David's Law of Implication webinar yesterday, he was saying that to him, you know, people a lot of times blur the lines on earnings and profits. And to him, like, profit is like, 
money in your bank account at the end of the year, all said and done. And, and you're racking up profits on this like crazy because you're not redlining it. You're not, you're not like really blowing yourself on the cost of the content. And the crazy thing is, it's very, very possible that you're converting better than you would with these high dollar writers. I mean, it seems to be because yours. Could, yeah. And you know, a lot of these guys who maybe like the one or two that are in front of me, I'm sure what they're doing is running a whole shitload of paid traffic. So I can guarantee that my profit is actually higher than theirs in a lot of cases, whereas they're just sending more traffic in, in, in most cases, I'm sure. Well, and, and, and that's, that's what makes this overall story really one of the biggest stories in affiliate marketing history is that while keeping your costs like so low, you've blown past like a million and a half dollars. Like, you know, you've, you've revealed that you know how to run paid ads, that you're experimenting with it, but, but that, that balloon amount of money that you've done has been pretty much ads free. Yeah, yep. Yeah, all, all besides a very, very small, I think I tracked like $9,000 in commission back to paid ads uh, in like $4,000 ad spend. So most of what I've done is uh, through, you know, organic traffic. Beautiful, and, and, through, and through what you're learning. I'm noticing that there are a few people that, that are, uh, I see Tracy, Tim, uh, Jason, um, uh, Casey, uh, Chris in the, uh, in the uh, chat. Go to webinar chat, jump into the jump into the Facebook group. It's uh, facebook.com slash groups slash fusion lab. Uh, you probably have it in your, your tab. Jump into the group, give us a hashtag Greg. Um, and, and also if you have some additional uh, takeaways, something from Greg said uh, that you wanna know. Um, and then what I'm gonna do, the next thing I'm gonna do, Greg, we wanna thank you. Um, I went, the next thing I wanna do is thank Greg. Uh, thank Greg, not just for creating that, that juicy, um, you know, exciting, um, you know, three module training that we did on Tuesday. Again, the last one was a cliffhanger. We're really looking to pay that cliffhanger on, uh, off today. Let me, let me bring Megan on because she really prepared. Uh, she really went through Greg's um, uh, training meticulously and she you know, related it back. And, and actually, Greg, I'd like to hold on to you for just a second. Just uh, if I could hang on to you for three or four more minutes because I'd, I'd almost like to begin with, hey, Megan. Oh, no problem. Megan, oh, you're, you're, uh, this is the first time I've seen your beautiful new home in, yes. in Portugal. <laughs> well, it's it's rent it's a rented house, but uh, it's uh, beautiful. It's just lovely living here by the by the sea. Yeah. Megan, <laughs> what was it like to give your boss the middle finger award and 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 be able to just go off <laughs> and not have to set an alarm in the morning? You've done that. You've yeah. retired your day job. Greg Morrison helped you. Greg, of course, this is a beautiful moment. I know you already know Megan, but you haven't seen her since since she made her moves, uh, since she uh, not only retired, but retired in style um, in, in Portugal. And we're so proud of you, Megan. Uh, well, it yeah, it's just been amazing. I retired over a year ago now. And um, during the pandemic, uh, I was able to move to Europe and get that accomplished. So that was really good. Um, I, I wanted to just say thank you to Greg because uh, really his training is amazing. I, I listened to the replay. Uh, I took pages of notes, screenshots from what he was laying down, and I hope everybody who was on the video did the same because that was a, such a concise and clear and full explanation of how to do content. Um, and, and, and Megan, was, you, you're um, you're as professional as it gets when it comes to writing. You have a master's in writing. Uh, you've uh, um, studied different languages. You've studied all kinds of different uh, forms of writing. Uh, you've taught writing, uh, like you know, in essence, at the highest levels that, that it can uh, can be, where where um, uh, where the industrial military complex and uh, big ed education kind of converge. Um, right. You know uh, where, where your uh, um, you know e even your students are involved and can, can be highly charged uh, political situations even dangerous and you're trying to help you know with with what you are doing to to help you know people be, you know do a better job of communicating but then you just got fascinated you met David Mills you met Greg Morrison you got fascinated with the language of the internet and how how it comes together with with the mm -hmm. you know the language of human beings right. And, and I wanted uh, to see if you had before, because we got to get, you know, I, I always really want Greg Fresh, of course, for his uh, unbelievable um, uh, uh, traffic tsunami, full coaching webinars that he does. 
uh, that's that's right after this. Uh, by the way, the, the place to sign up is trafficsunami.com slash rainmaker for uh, for traffic tsunami. Uh, that's you know, how Megan got her start. That's how Muhammad got his start, and and, and uh, all of us. Um, Megan, did you have any key key takeaways from what you saw, or did you have any questions for Greg? Well, I I had tremendous takeaways because um, in in the video last week, he really shared how he does his affiliate content, and it was so clear. It was just wonderful, and actually, it was the same process, same the same uh, let's say philosophy of writing that I use and that I've taught for I don't know three four years now with with other marketers and people in our groups through the years, and um, I guess the the biggest takeaway was how to structure the affiliate page. And he did such a good job that uh, there was somebody who who uh, was listening, I guess, last week. I had been in touch with Jessica, you know, previously. She was interested in my writing course. As soon as she heard what Greg said, she wrote me an email and she said, I want to sign up with your writing course. I want to do this. I want to build a gold IRA website for myself. And uh, so she did. She signed up. She bought the course. Uh, I don't know. Can you could you um, help me learn how to share my screen? I've got yeah, something yeah, and I could... we'll be uh, we will be uh, letting everybody in on the the opportunity to to jump in with Megan's course. We've everyone who's gotten it has just gone nuts. So what, what I'm going to do, Megan, is uh, yeah. I'm the attendee screen. I'm going to make you the presenter, and then you should get okay. a pop up right about now, and that pop up is going to invite you to share your screen. And it, I just click the uh, show. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Something like that. Open system preferences. Mm. Okay. System preferences shouldn't be part of it. Okay. Let's try this again. So I'm going to take it. <laughs> I'm going to take the. It's, it, this confuses everyone the first time. Um, yeah. So I'm going to take control back and then I'm going to hand it okay. back to you. And this time, um, when it says make the presenter, uh, then say, Show your screen. When it says change presenter, it should be a pop up, kind of a gray screen pop up that's a small rectangle in the middle of your screen. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't see okay, what's, I don't see what's. So uh, please go to the go to webinar control panel and okay. click on the attendees carrot. So there's a little carrot drop down uh, in the category that says attendees. So in the upper left hand corner, it says sharing. Then below that is dashboard. Then below that is attendees. Do you see that carrot in your GoToWebinar yeah, command center? Yeah, I see sharing. I clicking, I'm clicking it, and it's not doing anything. Uh, your. Oh wait, there we go. Okay, attendees. Yes. Okay, so when you go to attendees, right click on Megan Lee. Okay. And then, uh, should be. Share your screen. Also, uh, in the upper left-hand corner of the sharing, um, there's the green microphone, the green webcam, and below that, yep. there's kind of a grayed-out uh, box. Green. Oh, like okay. Yes. Message. There we go. It says wants to capture the screen. Uh, Why don't we let it capture the screen? Let's find out what happens. Might be like a, you might have a slightly different update or something. I don't know. It's sort of. Um, Kind of hanging Got up. me back in my preferences <laughs> again. Yeah. But I, okay. I feel like well, anyway, uh, why don't we instead of putzing around with this, we could just I'll just uh, I'll just talk and uh, we. And, yeah, and we can we can probably work this out at some point. But let, let, let's w w why yeah. don't we do this? Why don't okay. we wrap up with Greg? Um, and uh, okay. yeah, uh, to, so, to kind of let Greg go. So anyway, Jessica joined this course with the idea she wants to do Greg's gold affiliate IRA site for herself. And I was just so excited about that. And she wrote me some questions just right after going through day one of the course. And I answered her with a long email. And uh, yeah, I mean, I would love to just jump into traffic tsunami and build one of those those sites for myself. It's just so exciting. I, I really hope everybody just jumps in on this. So um, I, yeah, I did want to do some screen shares. I had something, you know, prepared to show about the writing okay, process, but but maybe we could maybe we yeah. could do that on the side somehow. 
No, we'll, and, we'll, we'll uh, get this done now. But let, I let just, me, I just want to really let say, Greg, let Greg, Greg, Greg let me let Greg go. Let me just let Greg go. Uh, Greg, okay. thank you so much for coming on. Congratulations. We look forward to uh, to more incredible news uh, from you, and we look forward to the second installment of the uh, of the Terminator workshop and getting people into traffic tsunami. Greg, thanks so much. We got a lot more coming. Right, thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Okay. See you soon. Okay. So we're we're just going to utterly focus and get get you screen sharing if it takes us the rest of the webinar. So here we go. Let's just take our time and focus in on this. So first, I'm going to try the trick of taking the organizer, the presenter back myself. Now, when I take the organizer back myself, I get a gray screen pop-up. It's right in the middle of my screen. It says show, and then it says main screen, and then there's a button below that to the right that is blue. And uh, if you'd like, I can, I'll take a snag it screen capture of it, Megan, and I'm gonna uh, send it to your iMessage. Uh, I'm gonna uh, you know, send this to your, your phone so you see what this is looking like. I'm gonna say not yet here. And uh, so that way you get a very clear representation of what I'm talking about. And uh, I'm doing this actually for a reason, everybody, party people. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is to show us how we work through uh, these little niggling issues, these little things that can make us feel like giving up, um, make us feel like, hey, let's just, uh, not do something for a little while, or let's, you know, kind of curl up in a ball and cry. I've been there. Um, so I'm sending Megan you an iMessage um, that, let me just see if it's been delivered yet. Um, and it should be, yep, I'm seeing it. Do you see that dialog box? Do, do you see the image I sent you on your iPhone? Should have just come through. If you open up your iPhone and, and click on the Mike Long tab. Megan? Yeah, I see it, uh, but that okay, is not right. the pop-up so I'm getting. I and they video. keep wanting to send me to my settings. Okay. I don't know why. Okay, so let's let, so let's try this again. So I'm now going to make you the presenter, and now that should pop up for you. Okay, now tell me if that popped up for you. Did that did that lo it's little different. dialogue pop says, up on your it, screen? Okay, my what's popped up says open system preferences or deny. The go to webinar would like okay. to capture this computer screen. Okay, so, it's, so it's simply saying something so different. I, so let's, only, I guess let's open up the system preferences. I, I haven't yeah. seen it done that way. It must be something where you have to give uh, okay. a certain access to go to webinar. Um, is it saying what, what right. else is it now saying? I after do that? Have, okay, now my system preferences have opened up under security and privacy. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and maybe there's something um, uh, like a grayed out dialog box. Green. Yeah, it was something like, oh, oh, I see. I have to click the go to webinar. There we go. Beautiful. Um, Beautiful. Go, to, it says, go to meeting will not be able to record the contents of your screen until it is quit. You can choose to quit go to meeting now or do it on your own later. Okay, go ahead and quit and then just come back in. Okay. Great. So right, we'll, we'll have Megan back in just a minute. And uh, she, she's prepared so hard for this that I really um, want to make sure that she's leave, able to. I'll present. leave the web. Okay, and then we'll get Megan. Uh, then we'll get Megan back in. Um, and again, I I really uh, you know that's an attitude that I very much want to transfer uh, to people. You know, um, Mohammedy, um, not everything goes right all the time. Nope. You have to try. Yeah. Times twice, three times. And, and yeah, it could be two times, could be three times, it could be a hundred times. Yeah. But it's worth it to give your boss the middle finger award. 100%. Right. The the reason your boss is your boss is that that they worked through that that process of some sort of a business. Right. They did that. They connected every dot. The times when it was frustrating for them, or the times when they wanted to give up, they didn't. And that's how the ultimate boss you're working for. I, I understand. I don't mean like if you have a manager. But you know the actual ultimate person you'd be working for, um, which by the way is to be respected. I do respect it. I just want you to have your own uh, thing going on that's just for you. Okay, we got Megan back already. Let's now go to making Megan the presenter and find out if she gets that box popping up. There we go. Show my screen. Okay. The we magic got it. of 
not just curling up into a little ball and crying. <laughs> That's right. And now, get, now I guess you can see my screen here. It's this is we the can. right and rank for profit course, and yeah. I just yeah, wanted we're, to we're show gonna you. Get a, yeah, we're going to get a link for that. It's going to be yeah. in your. Uh, it's going to be like basically right next to your software, um, your exclusive softwares, and that's going to be in your Maps Rainmaker um, members area. Password protected is exclusive for Rainmakers, by the way, um, and uh, that's that's just a, a course that has just wonderful. Um, everybody knows it's got just got such a great reputation. Uh, Megan presented it at OMG Live the last time we did OMG Live, yeah. and people mm -hmm. just went nuts. They were cheering and chanting for her. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that's amazing. So do, uh, do you want to pull up uh, your presentation? Yes, I, I will. I just wanted to show the excitement around this uh, that Jessica, you know, has um, joined. And then also Tim, Tim Dixon, he's he asked me, yeah, he's already a member of my course and he's ready to go over it because he wants to uh, get into the MAPS Rainmaker course now. So um, yeah. He said, you know, Beautiful. do you really think, is it worth it to get in? Apps, and I said, absolutely, yes. This is going to be just so big for members and for their clients. And and yeah, so absolutely. that was one of the Very things nice. I wanted to show is that the the excitement that um, this is generating, that what what Greg was sharing last, last time. So um, let's see. Where are we going to go right. here? And at this point, what I'm going to do is I, um, I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'll have comments myself, but I'm uh, kind of fully turning things over to Megan. Um, Megan, uh, you, you could go for probably as long as you want. Like I'd say an hour, it would probably be start getting to the max because uh, I do need to keep these to less than two hours, obviously, since Greg's oh, uh, coaching. Is, is I hope I won't soon. talk that long, but I do well, want to. No, but, but really, like, but, but my point is, please just relax, take your time. Uh, okay. You know, enjoy. Uh, I certainly prepared longer than an hour for this. Um, yeah. I, I, I talked to you about this for more than an hour, so I know that you have uh, uh, really prepared hard for this. That this is really going to uh, expose some illusions for people. Megan, is there a possibility of hitting Control Plus a few times, or in some ways making this screen yeah. bigger, or maybe we go sure, like if you go to that upper left-hand corner and hit that little uh, green button, it'll expand right. that uh, that browser window mm -hmm. at least. The uh, upper hand window of your uh, your document X there, your doc X in the upper left hand corner, you can just click that green thing and it'll expand, or you can just click and drag. Yeah, I don't. The okay. Yeah. Not the red one, the green one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and maybe not, maybe not. It's, it's, uh, oh, I see so, the green one there. There we go. Yeah. yeah okay. Just, no, Sorry. Expand out. <laughs> Great. No, but I'm really but, but good. This, I'm really good at goes. content writing. Get this kind of stuff right. Yeah, and, and can we can we see if we can possibly do a Control Plus a couple times on your computer just yeah. just to maybe see if if we can get kind of some zoom in because um, I'm really excited uh, for people yeah, to see it's this. Not, and, it's not getting any. Oh, because it's a set. It's a set size. Okay, great. Um, well. Yeah. Well, this is just this is just to show you the notes I took. Uh, these are the screenshots I took when Greg was talking on the Okay, video. great. So that's right there in the, yeah, in the replay. Okay, yeah, Megan, and uh, as promised, I'm now going to stop interrupting you. I'm going to okay. turn things over to you, and, uh, <laughs> and and I'll be back with uh, comments and notes. And, and everybody, if you have comments or notes, questions for Megan, please thank Megan. Uh, she's doing this out of uh, the caring of her heart. Um, you know, she's retired. She's uh, really been such a wonderful person. Um, you know, as a part of our community, and she's so smart. She's so wicked smart. It's almost mysterious um, how uh, marvelous Megan Lee is, and how she can really give you uh, an unfair advantage when it comes to your on-page uh, conversion, picking up keywords, and what we love to call speed rankings. And we've also been Megan and Muhammadi have been working uh, really hard behind the scenes with Eric Brief. Uh, Michael Tessalona, Jason Calori, they, they're building something awesome for you. Mohammed and Megan are working together. There's so much going on behind the scenes. So this is amazing, Megan. Thank you very much. Okay, Mike, thank you. Well, yeah, so what I wanted to, what I've prepared to share with you today is a follow-up, a direct follow-up of what Greg was sharing uh, on Tuesday in the first workshop video. So um, I took extensive hand notes that I, I don't have on the screen. And these are some of the screenshots uh, that I got 
as he was talking, uh, when I when I watched the replay, um, <clears throat> this is his keyword list. This is the briefing instructions that I thought was fascinating on how to order content. I've tried ordering content in the past, and I didn't have this kind of direction, and I, I wasn't very successful at it. Um, and so, but but in, I've trained a, a number of writers. I've trained Donna Rose. She has just been marvelous uh, the past four years working with me, learning uh, on-page SEO and content writing, and now she pretty much runs my agency. Um, so. I just wanted to show you this briefly uh, so that you would get a foothold of where we're starting. And I'm just so excited about um, this new offer in Rainmaker where, you know, with the, the done for you, everything's done for you, traffic tsunami. Um, I've been watching all those videos. So that's just really great. Um, so let's see, the next thing, um, let's see. And, and so, Megan, I actually find myself already having questions. What okay. did you screen capture and why? You know, I, I love to, to see through your eyes, what was it, you know, what were the things, um, one of the things that David talked about yesterday on his, on his webinar, um, and by the way, we understand that, that uh, David is gonna do um, a, a training with Megan for a lot of implications, so we're excited about that. But when, when we were looking at those screen captures, one of the things that David pointed out is that people's special gifts, you can oftentimes um, backtrack their special gifts to what they remember and, and what highlights in their memory. When, when you had that um, keyword uh, or, or the, when you had these screen captures uh, pulled up, then mm -hmm. what was it, you know, at least with a couple of these things that, that sparked for you like to stop and to screen capture it and to organize it in this beautiful way and, and maybe we could even get this uh this document i mean give give us a hashtag megan if you'd at least like to have her, her typed up notes maybe I, I bet she has good handwriting but she might even uh take pictures of her uh, handwritten notes give me a, if we get enough hashtag megan's let's see but megan please please let us know like one or two of these things at least what was it okay. that stood out to you that called to you that made you say hey I need to capture this. I need to organize this. This is important. Okay, so one of the first things that impressed me is how organized Greg's presentation was last time. Uh, there was no confusion about it. He he let us know what he's got in his package, what he's teaching, uh, the signups. That was a wonderful way to get started. It, he's just done so much for us. Um, I feel like even though I haven't, uh, built an affiliate site for myself in the past, I feel like I'm ready to go on this uh, because of his great organization sharing what he's done and what's worked for him. The second thing was this list of, um, these are the recommended keywords by Gold Co. And he shared a great deal about not just going after the keywords as they're presented, but really, you know, using his uh, methods and techniques that he's developed over the years using these keywords in long tail phrases that will rank uh, more easily and uh, bring and and even more important was what he was talking about targeting very specific customers who are ready to buy now this is something um, that I started learning from Greg years ago five years ago when he was teaching SEO and he was teaching how to use keywords in backlinks with the, his RSOS method, starting with the long, long tail key phrases and then ranking for that and then ranking for the next smaller one and the next smaller one until he got to the money keywords and he was ranking for them too. So I saw how he applied it to this affiliate site by what he said about how to use this keyword list that he was given by Gold Co. So that was something that stood out. And then the third thing that was really impressive was how he gave the instructions on the order form for ordering content from Text Broker. So there's several ways you can get content done. One is you can order it. 
And for me, this had never been successful because I didn't know how to do what he just shared, what he laid down on how to give the proper instructions or a link or whatnot, and how to, um, not just to write to one writer, but write to 10 or 20 and really study the writers and try to get good writers who are at a low cost. Now, I'm one of those writers who charges a dollar a word, sometimes more, for my local clients, and they're very happy to pay me that. Not because I'm such a good copywriter, I am a very good writer, but because I'm also an SEO. I not only write their pages, but I rank them as an SEO expert. So there's no reason why they shouldn't be paying me the same as they pay any SEO expert because I get their keywords on page one um, with content, mostly with content. And if it's in a really big city like LA or New York, then they need the whole program. They need the backlinks, they need everything. But in smaller cities, I found that content alone can, can rank you know, the small businesses in medium, small to medium cities. So anyway, uh, how to order. Let's, uh, let's not blow past was, that. Was, was fantastic for me. That because that was just a powerful SEO lesson. That was actually was a backlinking lesson. It might've zipped past your head folks, right? <laughs> um, there's, there's an old, uh, when I was first getting into SEO myself, um, I'd done some experiments. I, I built my first website in 1998. It was hard. Uh, spent a lot. It was just back back then there was no one to turn to. And I was curious about SEO. Didn't know how it worked. Messed around with some directories. Got some traffic, but didn't know how it worked. Started learning about it. And there was this guy who was talking about SEO. He was quite bright. He passed away, but he was quite bright. And Megan, he told this joke. He said, SEO, he said, you know, there's two guys in the woods. And, you know, they come across a bear. And one of them immediately starts uh, lacing up his running shoes. And the other guy's like, what are you doing? You can't run a bear. And he, the guy with the running shoes said, who said anything about outrunning the bear? I only like, need to outrun you. You only need to outrun, <laughs> <laughs> need to outrun the other guy. Um, but but, um, but here's, here's what I mean is, it, it's, not, um, it, it's not about, uh, <laughs> It's not about just flinging, the, the point of SEO is profits, right? It's not just about flinging links here and there because you're bored, right? So if you can accomplish something without links, right? You're gonna have to do content anyways. So if you can accomplish something without links, then what, what are you doing, Megan, is you're bumping up that beautiful profit margin or like David Mills was saying, that money in your bank at the end of the year, right. that's your profit. Beautiful. So, yes. so and, and can you give us some guidance on what, what you think, uh, your, just your experience city-wise, like you know, maybe pick a, a niche, a contractor niche, plus a, you know, just ballpark some, from your experience. Because I, I know that, you know, give me a hashtag SEO if you love to geek out on SEO and you'd love uh, <laughs> to draw from Megan's incredible specified knowledge of external frames that are extremely valuable, but normally invisible to people, Megan. Um, give us okay, a hashtag well, SEO, if you would like an example of, of, for Megan, like a split test, like for this city, you may not, you try it without links for this long, maybe bump it up after that, but for this size city, just start with links right away. Okay, well, for, for what Greg is doing here, which is like a nationwide affiliate site, you're, you're going to need the, all the backlinks. You're going to need the full program to rank it nationwide. So that's for sure. So if you have valuable content, valuable optimized content with on-page SEO, and you combine it with Greg's um, program of Traffic Tsunami and how to you know, get everything really powered up, that's how you're going to rank. And he, you know, it, that's how you're going to get the best rankings and get the targeted customers to click those affiliate links. Um, I learned I learned how powerful that was in 2019 when I did I threw up a, a page and I'm going to show you this in just a little while on the screen. I added um, an Orlando SEO page to Greg's website and Greg had already ranked his home page. So first of all, I redid his homepage content. I added a lot to it using my methods. Um, 
and then I put up a brand new Orlando SEO page. And this is for this was for no, Orlando, no, no. Florida, a fairly large, yeah. fairly large city. Yeah. Go ahead, Megan. Yeah. And and so it, we got it up to page two in about I think it was about 18 days, and there had been no links put on it at all on this brand new SEO, like a city page for his SEO company. Uh, we had, you know, put all the, the content up. And then I got an email from Greg saying, okay, it's on page two today. It's going to take another three or four months to get on page one. So I wrote him an email back. I said, I don't think so, Greg, because in my experience, it should just keep going up. And the very next day, it was on page one, position seven. I remember that day. Yeah. yeah. And we, and we, we I, share that example I was today. amazed. Because, you know, it, it takes maybe three or four weeks to get the first keyword on to rank, you know, and, and then at maybe by four months, I've got 12 or 15 keywords ranking. But in a city like Orlando, which is bigger than the cities I generally work in, I was shocked. And I thought, when you combine what Greg is doing on his home page and how he's ranking, and then you put up this content like I've learned to do and I'm going to explain to you more about how Greg he yeah. didn't know he was teaching me to write content but he was optimized content so I call that instead of just speed ranking with content when you combine Greg's methods with this style of content you get what I call SEO on steroids it shocked me how fast that page ranked without links but Greg had already got his homepage ranking. So I feel the best bet to really power up any site, whether it's your PAW, you know, your agency site, whether it's a client site that you're working for, or whether it's an affiliate site or e-com site. If you can combine what Greg is throwing down uh, with this valuable um, optimized content that I'm very happy to show you how to do, uh, this is the this is I think the gold standard in SEO. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on Mahomedy, here. And... Mahomedy said, "Boom." <laughs> <laughs> Mahomedy said, "Let's get some booms going." He just said it. <laughs> booms going for Mac. Okay, so let's see. Um, now you can you see this keyword research sheet I'm showing you? Okay, this is just flying in and yes, we can see it. Okay, great. So <clears throat> um what I wanted to show you is that like like Greg's list that he got from Gold Co. Okay, here's a list of keywords we you know you can rank for. I go into this uh fusion command center, it used to be called OMG Command Center. And I do my keyword research, and you can see here this is this is a new a new site I just started working on. I went in there the other day and I typed in these keywords, which I was given. Uh, here's some keywords to research, and so I got about 300 hits in the command center, and um, and then I went through that list of 300. I spend I, I just want you to know I spend at least a full day on keyword research and what I call keyword strategy, because that is the pumping heart of not only ranking a site, but targeting the exact clients you want or what you want to sell more of or, you know, how you want to grow your business. So like Greg was talking about, you want to target people who are ready to buy their gold IRA and not just people who are beginning to get educated about it, right? So if you do a keyword strategy, like I'm going to show you, it's going to really um, give it, it, what it does, it makes you win first and then you write the site. So that's kind of something I got from David Mills. You win first, then you take action. So I'm just going to try to briefly show you the steps that I to get me to where I win first 
and then I write the site. Um, so this keyword research, it's just a long list and I've, I organized it in, you know, from the top keywords to the lesser ones as we usually do. And then I looked over here at the competition and you'll see that I put yellow on the ones that I felt were um, probably the easiest ones and that were the most relevant that, we, that I wanted to get this site to rank for. Um, and then we have, you know, we have experts, consultant, we, we talk about the cost. Um, and then we get down to the near me words. Those are very important. Uh, all these neat near me things, um, affordable. That's another one. We have, you know, cheap SEO, all these different kinds of words. And so what I've got here is about a hundred and 150 keywords on this list and so I I go through what I got from the command center I click on the keywords that I feel are the most relevant and then I I designate them as favorites and I print it out like this on a PDF file I also put my branding on because sometimes I like to show this to the clients to so they understand that you know I I'm really uh, digging deep into the topic and then selecting the keywords that are best. Um, then, uh, let's see. So I've got this on this sheet, but it doesn't really help me with my strategy. This is just a list, like the Gold Co list. It's just a list. I've been handed so many lists of keywords, like here's all the keywords we like. You know, and it might be 20 or 50 or 100 keywords, and they're all mishmash of different keywords, and they're missing a lot of things that I want to research for and rank for, or maybe it has 20 cities on it, and it's just a big mess. And I, it doesn't really help me write the page because it's not organized. So, um, let's see. So let's let's put this one down. I wanted to show you next how I organize. Let me just see, here we go. Okay, I like to organize my keywords in what I call the keyword strategy page. You can probably see here at the top, keyword strategy page. So I start with this blank template. This is the blank template I started with the Miami SEO bitch website, which is Greg and Mike's SEO site in Miami. And um, <clears throat> so I started out, they had already ranked for these keywords in position number one and other po positions, you know. So I already knew what was ranking on the home page. Uh, and I was going to add this extra Orlando page. So I like start organizing a keyword template like this. So these, if you notice on this column, number one is the money keywords. Number two, I put their, you know, all of their information of how to contact them. And I put something here for the city SEO page, which is going to be Orlando. And I, have, I haven't yet looked up those keywords. So that's category two. And then category three is near me, words like, you know, best SEO consultant near me or um, local SEO company, SEO, local SEO reviews, things like that. And I'll put the money key, like the main keywords here and maybe the Orlando keywords here that I find. And then I have highly related keywords in this section, problems to solve in the niche in this section. And then there's a lot of cost and price keywords, like how much does SEO cost? What do you charge for ranking my site? Affordable SEO, cheap SEO, things like that. And then very important, the FAQs, the frequently asked questions. I always Google to see which frequently asked questions have the most traffic. And then very important distinction Greg made, made that I also like to make is, you have to decide, are you trying to bring in beginners and educate them, or are you trying to bring in people who are ready to buy the product or the service that you're offering, 
or that you most want to sell. So that's where the FAQs come in and you try to get the ones that are ranking that people are typing in. And then I also like to look for professional organizations, like let's say you have certified plumbers um, working in, in, the plum, in a plumbing company. And so I like to put a link to, let, I, like, I look up you know, who certifies the plumbers in Monterey County or in California, and I find out that link, the certification link, and when I put the words, all of our certified plumbers, I'll make an outbound link to that high authority site. So I like to collect things like that. Sometimes the owner will say, well, I was, you know, I got my education at such and such a college and this was my degree. And I might link to that, um, that particular university or college and that department, you know, something like that, because I always like to put a few outbound links. So there's my blank template to organize my keywords and, and some of my research. And then I, the next thing I want to show you is what it looks like when it's filled in. So this is the Miami SEO bitch keywords. <laughs> um, it's a funny name, but it's a it's a great site. It gets gets lots of traffic. So now I've organized the keywords that I was searching. And, and we did it that way to show uh, we did it that way to show the power of uh, partial matches, but also just that we did it for you, so you wouldn't feel intimidated. That like you know the reason why we Miami SEO bitch, you know, uh, but yeah. but it's a little tongue in cheek and and so forth. And and remember that is a great tip. Um, from Megan um, about wisely selecting an outbound authority link. Make sure to have that included. Yeah, so that's included in my keyword research because you see to me this page, okay, I, you see I've got, well, it's, this one is two pages because there were other cities I was researching, but I try to usually get all the keywords on one page so that visually, I've I've already organized, you know, everything. It, it doesn't matter if it takes me a whole day to do this, I'll do it. Because now I have my keywords organized into a strategy. And it's not just, you know, and it's a strategy for the entire website. And it's also a strategy for all the linking that's going to be done later on. It it's the strategy for ads, for anything that you might want to write about your business. Um, it, you can use it in your blogs. So I think that if you really want to win at content writing, you have to win first. And this is one of the pages I create so that before I even start to write, I've won the game. I can rank, I can target specific clients or you know, and, and I can um, convert. This also helps me with conversion. So um, basically what you'll see here, let's look at number two, local, near me or best. So um, I have local SEO, local SEO services and lo local SEO company. They all have very good traffic, but I really liked that the local SEO company Uh, folks, do you have Megan frozen or is it just Mohammed and I? Give me quick feedback. Give me a Mike's frozen or Megan's frozen. <laughs> of course, if you say Megan's frozen. Okay, so uh, am I frozen? So Megan's frozen, but I'm not frozen, right? Let me know if I'm frozen. I'm sure I'm not, but let's just check. These variations in the paragraph. Megan, so, you were frozen for about, uh, for about 30 oh, seconds. Your screen just okay. froze. Um, do, okay. do we know where she was? Yeah, she was in the local. Yeah, pretty much just left. 
Yeah, just a little bit, like 30 seconds ago, when you're doing the local. Okay. Do you yeah, want right. me to repeat Thanks. a little bit there? It probably it was frozen for 30 seconds, so might as well. I'm sure you said it for a okay. reason. Okay, great. Yeah, no, I. this is an example of one category. And the category is local, local company, the, this keyword. So I, out of the three big main keywords in this category, I chose this one because it has the lowest competition and yet it still has very good traffic. So it's not gonna be that hard to rank on page one for. And then I was showing all of these lesser keywords that are highly related. They're simply variations. You know how Greg talks about a main keyword and its variations. So he uses that technique for creating backlinks and I've applied it to content writing. So I would put this in the header and I would use some of these in the paragraph so that I don't keep repeating the same word. I'd use variations of it. And this is very powerful for ranking and targeting. So that's a little explanation and you can see, you know, here's another category about pricing. And this is a great one, cheap SEO. People type that in a lot. So I might put a heading that says, are you looking for cheap SEO? You won't get that at Miami SEO bitch, but you'll get affordable SEO. And then I talk about value and, and what you get is, you know, what you pay for is what you get. So that gave me a great idea for a paragraph about pricing with a link probably on an inner page to their pricing scheme. And then we have the FAQs um, and you know all the different traffic that they get and the competition that they get. So I create whole paragraphs for the homepage content or the city page content based on these FAQs. And what I've found is that if I also write a blog for each of the ones that I decide to use on the home page, I'll put a really solid one paragraph answer to the FAQ on the home page with a link, a read more link that will go directly to the blog that will then talk about that topic in depth. And I do that because um, Google really loves FAQs when they answer people's questions on your topic but um, also when you link it to a blog on that topic, then Google, as you build your site more and more, Google begins to recognize your site as the authority site. So that's, that really helps with the ranking almost immediately. It's amazing how that works. And then you get into the city pages and you see I've done the same organization for the city keywords. There's Orlando, there's Tampa, there's Jacksonville. And then other extra services, other highly related things that I want to possibly mention are down here. So you see that what this, this keyword strategy page is, it informs me what to write about. It gives me paragraphs, it gives me ideas for content for the organization of the entire site. So that's a little look into what I call keyword strategy. Megan, let me, let me drill in on this keyword strategy because I'm so moved by it. It's so powerful. Um, I remember, uh, you know, of course I'm a writer too, like you are. And um, I've mm -hmm. always been passionate about it. But I remember when David and I first started getting into internet marketing, we weren't able to work with the, the angels that we work with now. We didn't find Greg for a while. Um, right. Eric Breith, now you, Mohammedy, uh, so on, Dan, you know, all the guys. Michael, um, and with working with these worser people, they were just much less prepared with their offers. And they would say to me like, oh, I'm gonna do this, or it could do that, you know? And I would write it, I would go to write about it, and it would just be hard to write. And I remember going and just saying to David, I am so sick of writing science fiction for internet marketing people, right? Mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. so sick of winging it and having to come up with, you know, explanations for things that you know don't make sense or you know uh, embellishments and all this stuff Megan when you're organized right these days I just get ready and tell people what's going on and that's it yeah <laughs> but, but, but that's what you're doing right that's it like like you get organized see it's not like the way you said it earlier when you're like one day to get keywords straight right to get it strategized it's because 
Megan, you ain't got time for anything but excellence. I mean, it's, it's, right. it's, your, it's your attitude about things. You're not doing it to make it take longer. You're no, doing it. not at all. You're doing it so it's easier. And so that once you do go to write or have writers, it's structured, it's sensible, uh, it makes sense. It, it leads to simple, like like what you said about cheap SEO. Some you might hear cheap SEO and want to say, uh, but Megan showed you that you can flip that. And she showed you how to flip that, right? But it's because, Megan, you are naturally organized. And that came as a, a, a fruit of the tree, right? That once the tree, once the tree is properly organized, right? You have an apple tree, right? And it's properly right. organized. It's 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 properly fertilized, and and whatever needs yeah. to happen for it, right? It gets sunshine. Then right. apples just pop right up, and you just pick them. And and that's what you right. do. Right, and this is the tree. It, it's like saying it's like saying, well, I need to chop down these trees. This is something David Mills talks about. You know, guy has an axe and it's not sharp yeah. and he's trying to chop down the trees. And he says, look, you know, why don't you sharpen your axe? And he no, says, he I don't have time. Great, I have I, to chop would, down these trees. Yeah, because that's what I would say about David. I, I worked on my grandfather's farm and, and the way that my grandma, my, my, my best home and best house, they're from uh, Latvia. Um, and they were uh, lived on a small farm uh, um, in Waverly, Ohio. Um, and I in, in the summers... I was so grateful to, for them because they really got us through the hardest times. Um, um, you know, cause I, as I've let people know, I had a rough, rough childhood. So when things got a little better for me and I started, you know, getting myself together and I got yeah. into my teens and I could drive myself, I would drive myself to Ohio and I would chop wood for my grandfather. Um, maybe I probably started doing this like a, a year or two before I could uh, drive. Maybe I started doing this when I was like 13, 14. Uh, mm -hmm. as part of the, how I got to be a really good wrestler. And I would see my grandfather chopping wooden rounds and stacking them up. And of course I wanted to like, you know, help him and stuff like that. And I would just wear myself out. I would just attack it and attack it and attack it. And my grandfather would just chuckle at me and he'd say, you got to sharpen the X. And I would be like, I don't know, I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. Let me just finish <laughs> And I would just be sweating and just tired. And then I would like slump over. And then my grandfather would sharpen the axe and he'd walk over. And this guy, at, at this point, he was like in his 80s. And yeah. Whack, whack, <laughs> whack, whack. And they would, yeah. you know, and then there would be a line of wood, right? And then I learned right. it and I chopped the wood. But that's, you know, and, and it's, it's it, are we saying only sharpen your axe and then wish on a star? No. No, no. Once the axe is sharp, it's a pleasure to use it, Megan. Exactly. And it makes it so easy to write. And I'm going to show you how that happens. That's the next thing. I, okay. Stay tuned. Here we go. Okay. So the next thing Greg talked about borrowing content from other sites, like go to the top ranking sites, go to two or three or four of them and look for what they have on their site that, that you want on your site and I put it in what I call a swipe file. Let me enlarge this. You see right here, swipe file. And this is places I have gone around the web, not in the city that I'm trying to rank for. I go outside to other cities um, and, and I look at the top rankers. I do exactly what Je you know Greg was saying. I, I take sections and segments from this, that, and the other site that I really like. These are some FAQs. Um, just, you know, like this is from a Minneapolis firm, uh, five point process. I like, sometimes I like bullets and numbers and what we'll do for you. And then when I, when I know how I'm gonna organize my page, I can go straight to the swipe file. I don't have to waste any time going back to those websites saying, where was that website I really liked? I, I just look at it one time, grab, you know, copy, paste, copy, paste, another website, copy, paste, and I get all the things that I like, and then I go through and I re, rewrite them, totally rewrite them, so they're 100% um, original content, and I run it through Copyscape to make sure of that. So, Using a swipe file is another way to make your writing faster and better and easier because some people, you know, they 
they've been educationally abused, as David says, and they, they feel like, I can't write, I don't know how to write, or I hate to write. I'd rather pay somebody $1,500 to write it for me and just be done with it. Or I, you know, I've had business owners say, I don't have time to write. Okay, I give them the vision for how I'm going to do their page. And it's like, okay, they pull out their checkbook and say, how much? 3000 Okay, great. And then the inner pages are going to be another 200 each. Okay, great. I want 10 of them. You know, and, and they just, once they have the vision and you show them, you give them the vision for their particular website and what you're going to do for it, then uh, they'll, all, people are like, they'll just pay almost anything so they don't have to write. And that's a real key for business. If you know how to write your own site, writing someone else's site is going to be much easier once you've done it once. And you're going to make a lot of money by offering on-page SEO optimized, valuable content. And I say valuable because um, a lot of people, a lot of writers talk about just filler content. We need 2,000 words. And for me, a home page has to be between 1850, 2,000 words because that's, what Google says of all their top ranking sites on page one, that's the average number of words on the home page. So I aim for that. And, and sometimes, like Greg was saying, he'll put three to four thousand words on an affiliate site. The you know, you've you've got to outrun the other guy, whether it's backlinks or content or whatever. You've always got to out outrun the other people <laughs> in the niche. Okay, so valuable content is what you want. And Google oh, has great, ways of recognizing valuable yeah. content and not just Neg crap Neg content. That's a great point. Again, bringing up, because you're saying so many brilliant things um, that I don't want to blow past them. It, it's not that you have to spend more than the other guy or the other gal. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, that, it's that what we do is we, we find certain very small number of things that make a huge difference. And those things we're going to outrage them on, right? Like the, right. But, but not everything. We don't have to hire the most expensive writers. We don't have to, there's all kinds of SEO metrics that people, you know, chase their tails uh, to try to get ahead on and they're not valuable. What Megan is showing you here for the part of on-page SEO, these are the key few things that you have to do, but on those key few things, you want to, you want to be the best. Right. And, you know, if, like Greg was saying, which I really liked what he said, he said, you, you, you can tell the writers, don't worry about the SEO, just give me a really good article, because then when you get the really good writer, when you find a good writer and they write a good article, not only are the keywords, some of the keywords in there, but you can easily go in and, and work on the titles and improve them. And, and I have very specific training on how to do that, um, that I that I teach people. Okay, so the swipe file is a really good way to go if you don't like to write and you feel like you do, you can't like you just sit down and you're blank and you don't know where to go and how to start. This is a really good technique after you've done your keyword research. So let's move on here. Um, the next the next thing to show you is. How do I start putting it all together? So this is what I call my ideas page and my outline, and it becomes the outline of how I'm going to write. So first of all, I went to Greg's site, and I, you know, I have a little checklist in my course of about 20 things that I check for and make sure it's there. So the first thing I noticed, the phone number needs to be at the very top. It needs to be connected. Should it be in bright red? You know, what's his color scheme? And then they needed the H2 tags. Um, here's a, some sections which I realized they didn't have on the website. So from Greg's side, I have all these ideas and I just write them down, bang, bang, bang. So I know, you know, this is going to direct me and give me everything I need to write about on that home page. And when I write a home page, I don't have trouble writing 2,000 words. I've, I've had people who've gone through my course have told me the same thing, that we actually 
you know, ended up with 3,000 words and had to cut it down, you know, and tighten it up. Okay, then well, I've done my keyword strategy sheet, and these are the ideas I got for Greg's site just from doing that keyword strategy and putting it in categories. I realized these things. There's a lot of traffic for affordable pricing and cheap, so I need to write something on that. It, that needs to be a paragraph. There's a lot of surges for best, so I need to have a paragraph on that. Um, there's good traffic for SEO FAQs, internet marketing. So I have all these notes and ideas that I got just from my keyword strategy page of what kind of paragraphs to use and which, you know, just particular specific things about keywords. Now here, this says, I, number three, ideas I got from mind reading. Now in my course, I've published a lot of, uh, a lot of things I've transcribed from David Mills' um, advice in his LEO te uh, LOI teachings, Law of Implication teachings, about how to write. And you'd be amazed how much he has, has to say about how to write headers, how to stand in the right place, and then this mind reading, Alchemy 20, is absolutely mind blowing. So whenever I'm getting to write a website, I do two very important mind reading where I get into the head of the business owner and his ideal client. So, Muhammad, you just me to say, he just got really fired up. That's, this is mind blowing. Let's get some mind blowing going now. All right, we're, we're gonna get some, some mind blowing. Uh, uh, Alchemy is also uh, Muhammad's favorite series, so he got uh, fired up. We, we've been, Muhammad and I have been shaking our heads and pupping our fists this whole time with amazement. Let's get some hashtag mind blowing going <laughs> for mysteriously marvelous Megan. Well, I'll tell you, I thought I was a professional writer until I came across David Mills, and he completely changed how I write and how I look at writing and how I go about it, how I approach it. And it has just unlocked the creativity to the moon. Um, I never get writer's block anymore. I always know exactly what to do. And my, the students who have taken my course, I'm going to show you a testimonial from Dave Mazzaro, so it'll blow your mind. So mind reading to me is super important. So I get into the head of, uh, let's say, the ideal client that Greg and Mike want. Now, how do I know the ideal client? I ask him, what do you want to sell more of? You know, and then I know who to target. So I get it, I, I become that person in a scenario. I go through a scenario in my mind, I triangulate in, I see, you know, my clothes and my, you know, what I, maybe my computer or this or that. I, I look around my business store, I answer the phone, and I, you know, and then I, I think, well, what do I need to, to uh, grow my business? I, you know, I've heard a lot about SEO. And then I try to think about what it would be like to contact Mike or Greg and, or whoever answers their phone. And what, what is it that I want? Like, what's my problem that I want them to solve? And I, I just, run this movie as their ideal client. And then I do a second scenario as Mike or Greg and I become them and I think about my business and I do this. Now, the reason I do this, usually I, I, this, I just have you know one, one result from that. I didn't write down all the ideas I got when I did that, but usually uh, this will be full of ideas because when you do those scenarios, you see things that you wouldn't otherwise see. For instance, what kind of language should you use to write this site? And when I think about Greg and Mike, and I looked at what was already up on the site, I saw that the language is very edgy, very confident, um, and that that's the language I, I need to write like the business owner for the client that they're looking for. And if I'm the client and I'm reading that page, I want to get really excited about it. So it gives me so many ideas of how to write, how to sell. And 
I think for me, this is what really unlocks the writing genie where I just can sit down and just type and, you know, in a matter of hours, I pull it all together and then I rewrite it and I know what, I know what the voice of the writer needs to be like. It needs to reflect the business, that particular business, that owner, and it um, needs to attract that client. Yeah. The writer, Megan, let me, um, let me uh, chime in on what you're saying because it's so powerful. Um, what David taught both Megan and I to do in his own way, because I was a different kind of writer before David, is to kind of get your act together in this very specific way. And then instead of being a writer, um, we think of writers, what does that mean? But almost like we're a, a describer, Megan, we're an accurate describer, you know, an mm -hmm. accurate, energetic describer. Right. Instead of wearing ourselves out, this isn't, you know, this isn't like writing Hamlet. <laughs> and if I was going to write Hamlet, by the way, I would do exactly what Megan said. I would step into the mind of the audience, and then I would step into my, the mind of the characters of the audience, and I would I would be them for a day. I I I'd, I'd you know really think about it and 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 soak it in, and then Megan, um, it's you know, Mohammed and I are a fan of saying you know from David Mills, once you see something, once you really see it, you can't unsee yeah. it, and, exactly. and so once you see these yeah. insights that these ideal business owners crave. Once you see that they crave, like if you see that the business owner craves some sushi, then just describe sushi, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> if, you know, like, and you can right. focus and say, you, you, again, you're gonna do it accurately. I'm not saying do it monotone, boring, in bad grammar, you know, but, but really right. so much of the creative work, that, that's where this is happening and yet, that gives your content such a freshness, such a pop to it, right? So you're actually right. writing crackling stuff. Because otherwise, you know, you see 10,000 websites that all sound the same. Exactly the same. They're distant, they're not, they don't reach out and touch you or give you any emotion or and, and motivate you. They're actually disconnected. See, what David taught yeah. us is to actually get connected and then just share. And so what I do, and you know, is I I've published what David has said, so people can actually read it themselves, and really get convinced that this is such an important step for writing wonderful content that's going to convert. Yeah, and, and you can uh, be looking for a a link uh, from me to to get uh, Megan's course in your uh, Maps Rainmaker members area. Could even be in there uh, later today. It'll be uh, uh, probably nested in right next to the uh, your exclusive SEO softwares, which we've got uh, updates on that as well. I'm gonna get a map movers link in there as well. And Colin's been working on um, on uh, Rainmaker Command Center. So there's there's a lot of a lot more great news. Please uh, uh, please continue, Megan, this is incredible. Okay, and then basically I, I, I start writing down some of the FAQs. And now that I've done my mind reading, you know, I have so many questions that, I need to answer for that client. That's what makes it valuable and not just filler. You see, is it a one-time project, this and that, you know, and here's, here's the little thing. I got that idea of, are you looking for cheap SEO? That's the key word. That's not going to happen with the queen of Miami SEO, but I have a solution, you see? And it, 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 it I got all this, all of these beginning, you know, these paragraphs almost fully written before I have even started writing the site. I got inspired by all the research and everything. And, you know, maybe it takes me two days or three days, but, but by then the website is almost written, you see? And you just have to start putting the pieces together and then you go through and you polish it and you're done. So you, you're actually um, writing the website and organizing the pages and everything. And by the time you actually go to say, okay, I'm ready to start writing, it's almost done. You're basically just going to be polishing, organizing and polishing it. So it, in other words, you think all this preparation and all of this trying to, you know, sharpen the ax is a waste of time, but it's not because it's, it's building excellence that's going to rank and convert. And um, 
by the time you get through this process of preparing to write, the site is almost written. That's the beauty of it. Okay, and now with after that idea and outline page, then let's see. Okay, here's here's what it looks like now. I've put the the Orlando City page together. I've got the you know the URL here. Everything in red are instructions for the person who's going to do the layout, right? So that'll all be taken out. But I I organize it in a word file with instructions brooke is the person you know who was going to do the layout so i have instructions for her i make sure the phone number is there um i have my h1 title so this is kind of how i do it and then i send this word file to the webmaster or whoever is going to do the layout uh i've just i used to try to learn to do that and i got there were just so many different um programs i had to learn i said Forget it. I'm just going to concentrate I, I, on I content. Think I, I think I know somebody who might be able to help people with websites. We'll see. Yes. Well, now <laughs> we have Mohammedy. This is the great yeah. thing. I, the I, I, I didn't. I didn't have a Mohammedy for years. I thought. But, but, but just now. Let them. Now. Let them give it to their webmaster, and they can. I have full instructions here. They can lay it out. You see. But this is how I would send. Even if Mohammedy was doing the web design. This yeah. is how I would send him the content. It would look like this, with, and he just has to take out the red words. I have all the instructions. Unbelievable. So, Unbelievable. Yeah, so here, like this title, Orlando SEO, Best Local SEO Services in Orlando, Florida. I teach how to write you know, H1 and H2 titles like that. And where did I get that? Greg Morrison. Yeah. So, you know, I have a lot of examples of how to take how Greg does his, you know, his H1, H2 titles and then, you know, make them very, very powerful for ranking. So this is kind of what the page looks like. I found this image that goes along, um, right? And I have this image. I've added some images and I'll show you on the next page why. So. These are things, uh, these are the little widgets I filled in. Um, I rewrote them from the from the home page. I rewrote them for the Orlando page. Um, here's another, you know, uh, keyword that I felt would be very good to rank for that didn't have a high competition. Yes, I want the best SEO in Orlando. That's the keyword, best SEO in Orlando. So I put it in a sentence. Um, Here's the process, one, two, three. Uh, this was taken from somebody else's website and completely reorganized and rewritten um, using more of the, the terms and the language that I know that Greg and Mike use. Another image, um, another call to action. There's usually three calls to action, beginning, middle, and end. Here's the FAQs I put on the Orlando page. And you can see the link that goes to the blog. You see there. Beautiful. And and then here we've got what does it cost? So I knew I had to do some paragraphs about that. What does it cost? Uh, you know. And then we have the last call to action, and then the footer. So that's the page. And this page, by the way, of valuable content optimized fully is 1,856 words. And it didn't feel like it when I was writing it because I, I had it pretty much all put together. I just had to slap it on the page and, and then go through and finalize it, do some final proofreading, editing, yeah. and, um, now we're able to you know, this to you as a I'll, wonderful I'll example. Yep. Now we're able to uh, proudly offer this to you as a wonderful example of speed steroid SEO. Uh, it's at MiamiSEOBitch.com slash Orlando dash SEO. Yeah. So that's, that's, uh, that's, um, oh, and then we're going to uh, go into the images. Um, yeah, this and, is the last, this is the last screen share I have here. Um, when, whenever I, do a website. I also go, I have, you know, professional uh, sites that I pay for where I buy images 
I've gotten some great deals on AppSumo for that. Uh, sometimes I'll use, you know, public domain images, but I generally try to get high quality images. And so um, this is a screenshot I did from the to show the ranking on the. Um, I, I don't know if I can get this any bigger. Yeah, they saw it though. They saw it. Okay. Saw it. Anyway, yeah. Uh, this screenshot I got off of Greg's Miami site and showed how he ranked at number one, and this is what we can do for your website, for your business. Right. So these are like the, so got the URL is the name of the image, like the technical name of the image file, and then you're going to add all text and description, and she's got it right mm -hmm. here. Beautiful. So you see here, these are instructions for the webmaster yep. when they upload these images, and I send the image files separately. These are just thumbnails, but I send every image file with a really good resolution. So the first thing I do is I rename every photo, and I use the keywords, Orlando SEO Company. And then this was a very highly trafficked word, improve search engine ranking. So. I try to make the new title using the, the keywords code, yeah. match look, look the, the CEO expert, and then you put the zip code. That's so smart, Megan. Three two eight zero yeah. nine. This I I learned this from Stephen Floyd. Use use the zip code. Smart. Right. So I use it as part of the key keyword. The next thing I do is I write alt text, and alt text is when you when you let's say somebody with a disability is going to mouse over the photo and then this will be read to them and it's supposed to be a description of the photo let's say they're blind it has it's supposed to be describe what the photo is in the alt text and then there's also the description um our seo consultants rank number one in google blah 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 so i i i put some keywords but i write usually one sentence for the alt text and two or even three sentences for the description. And that all gets put up in the media library when your photos get loaded on and put on the page. You definitely hook people from those and get clicks. Well, Megan. Yeah, and I, when, in wow. my course, you'll see that I, you know, that the, each one of these photos is like a mini website and because photos also rank. Oh, they rank And if right people right. click on the photo, it'll take them to the page. Absolutely. Okay, that's it. I'm ladies and I'm gentlemen. Done. That's the that's the peak phenomenal. into prep preparing to write. <laughs> what what a phenomenal tour de force uh, by by Megan Lee. Um, let's please thank mysteriously marvelous <laughs> Megan, uh, mysteriously marvelous, mind blowing Megan today. Right? Uh, <laughs> let let let's each of us. She she prepared uh, just extensively for this. Um, you know, in addition to to working herself on it. She and I prepared uh, and, and spoke. Uh, she's yeah. also been speaking with Mohammedy uh, frequently. Right. They, we've got some, some fireworks coming from Megan and Mohammedy. Uh, if you want somebody to, to just take care of the website for you, that's coming very soon. That'll be an exclusive service that'll be offered to Rainmakers. Uh, so that'll be uh, you, what we're going to have is kind of a uh, kind of a, right now we have the softwares, but then we're going to have like exclusive services. And of course, you can get Megan's uh, course as well. So this is this is really a triumph to me. I am very, very proud to have been able uh, to, to bring this to you with Megan's level of organization and pride that she takes in things, uh, the, you know, the excellence um, that she's sharing with us. It, it's so special. So I'm going I'm to show, uh, uh, show my screen and let's pull up um, the Facebook group. And then we're going to have one quick presentation from Mohammedy um, uh, on just, just kind of a nifty thing. We, we don't know exactly. Um, where, where, what, what you're going to see is tie-in, but we're going to find a tie-in for it. We think it's really neat. Um, so please go to this this thread and give us. Let's thank you, the seriously marvelous Megan. Wonderful, wonderful. What a uh, what a presentation. I, I don't believe that anybody watching this is going to be able to unsee Megan. They're not going to be able to unsee what you just showed them. Uh, about uh, the way things can just be totally different than what they expected uh, with writing. And of course, this combines beautifully, not with just Greg's SEO strategies, but as we're gonna see more and more, um, you know, uh, with, with outsourcing strategies, Greg showed you that incredible outsourcing strategy. You can use that and combine that with what you're doing here. Uh, so it's all works together in a beautiful, virtuous circle. Thank you, Megan Lee. Just round of applause for Megan.
not thank not you. golf. You're so golf, welcome. And, and I, I have golf. to thank. Yeah, I have to thank you guys because uh, David, Mike Long, Greg Morrison, uh, the you know the people who taught me all these years uh, have totally changed my life um, in every aspect I could say. So. A big thank you to you, and I'm very happy if I can give back now and help other people and uh, help them succeed. Yep, seeing these wonderful comments, this this cascade of wonderful, wonderful comments, appreciation, uh, recognition of Megan's excellence. Right? I remember uh, a few days ago, Mohammadi showed me. A, well, I'll have to dig this up for you, uh, ladies and gents. But uh, a couple of days ago, Mohammadi actually showed me um, a, a screen capture of you know, uh, one of his many conversations with Megan on Facebook, uh, all the way back when he was working at that sneaker store, Megan was still in her job. They both paid $8,000 to, to join OMG. They were so excited and pulling together and, and now look where we are right now. So I'm gonna shift things up here. This is very exciting to me. I'm gonna end my screen share. I'm going to kick the uh, computer over to Mohammadi. Um, I'm gonna turn my microphone off and we're gonna turn his on because otherwise we'll wind up with a weird echo situation. So I'm gonna mute myself here. And turn on this one. Oops, you're muted? Yeah. Beautiful. Guys, can you see my screen? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, just to you know, go back to what Mike was mentioning. This is the conversation back in 2017. So beautiful, just so beautiful. And this is pe people, people helping people. Ah. So, so Mohammed, um, you have uh, uh, you have something you showed me earlier today. It was yes. so cool. I wanted people to see it. Um, can you pull up this uh, this app that you've created and yep. and and your example that you shared with me? A hundred percent. If you have, been, and, and there'll be a, there'll be a tie-in where where you guys yeah. will be able to use this. Somehow. If you have been witnessing Michael my Mike's greatness with everything that he's doing, he's talking about integration and really caring about people, right? Like the customers that we're working with, the clients that we have, we are not like those dinosaurs that is trying to work on short-term basis. There is low quality like a lot of low quality out there and the difference we are building here and my like this group is building is adding value to the client look the amount of work that megan have just went over to do all of this for our client is to make sure we ensure a great amount of success, the greatest amount of success deliver as much as we can so if you have been here, you already like hear a lot about Mike talking about integration. Everything that we are doing, we want to be able to integrate. And this is back when the pandemic started. We see a lot of restaurants was already struggling to like to stay open. A lot of restrictions, senseless restriction. We're not going to talk about that. But it's like you can fly and get in a plane with 300 people, but you cannot sit in a restaurant and eat with people. You know. So there was already struggling. So what I decided to, you know, I diverge a lot of my team to start working on an alternative to help this restaurant save the 30% that, because everything went online now. And we have like few restaurant clients that we talked to, it's like, hey, right now, we, we, they couldn't afford to pay us because there was closed and there, and most of the money they was making was going to companies like Uber, Grab, Hub, DoorDash that is taking over 30% of, you know, off the top for a service that is pretty much just offering. You know, yeah, and let me let me chime in on this. This is really important. So the purpose the purpose of building a business, this is Peter Drucker said this, is to acquire customer leads. And and again, uh, you know, the 30% yep. is absolutely outrageous, but it's not that, it's that they're actually, they're, they're siphoning customers yep. from these high quality businesses and they're actually reducing the reputation of those businesses at That's the same 100%. time because they because uh, Uber Eats have very low standards yep. for their drivers, for delivery time, for accuracy, Everything. right? So so it's re really a diminishing thing. Mohammadi literally created the solution. So we went to work to create smart menu. Smart menu, 
and I'm gonna put, put put the link on the group so each and every single one of you guys can go check it out. What smart smart menu is? It's allowing restaurants to take control of the quality of the service they're providing to their clients. If somebody's ordering to Uber Eat or DoorDash, majority of the people that are ordering is the same people. They go back to this Uber Eat and order whatever they're gonna order. And it just comes, same experience, same experience. But they like the restaurant, they still wanna keep, like, uh, experience the food and everything. But the only way they could experience it is, is through ordering, right? And the experience is not so great, was like, is diminished in val value because of what they have been put through with Uber and those, those, those companies. So what we did was, we, you know, we built smart menu to tell the restaurant owner, now we're gonna give people the power, like give you the power to send the people, your customer directly to your website. Every time somebody comes and buy, and like get it, order something from Uber Eat or Grubhub, we put a nice mini card in there. Hey, now you can order from our website directly with the barcode and they would just go scan it and it take them to their website. And we have built this, a beautiful menu, like more visual presentation is everything. You can see the food, you can see like the categories, you can go straight and order whatever you're gonna order. And instead of giving the 30% to Uber, they can oh, give you yeah. 10% discount to the clients. Get a $5 off if you order anything above 25, right? So it's very delightful to the client and the experience is flawless. So this is the platform, I'm gonna share the link. This is uh, the website, I'm gonna share the link. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna log into an actual client's website so you guys can see a little bit of the inside. So this is Mexico City NJ, it's a New Jersey Mexican restaurant, amazing food. If you like Mexican food, you definitely gonna like these guys. And if you come to the website, you can go straight on ordering, order online. And if you click on order online, it opens you this beautiful menu that we have created, right? And you can go, if you want by categories, if it's lunch time, you can just go click on lunch and you see everything that is on the lunch menu. If you wanna like a specific category of food, you can just click it from the categories on top and find everything that you want. And you can go straight up and order the experience is very simple, very simple and like very like straight to the point. You can just go select anything you want to order and click on proceed. You enter your phone number. Yeah, I'm like, I, 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 you know, I'm not going to enter my phone number, but it's you enter your phone number. You can go try this for, for yourself, but please don't don't pay and don't submit. <laughs> because they're gonna get a whole lot of orders and they wouldn't be able to deliver. So just like an example, you can just go through the process by yourself. And from here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to the back end. This is where the client, the restaurant logs in. They come here and they log in. And when they log in, they'll get to see all the orders that they have received. On orders, they can click on here to see all the orders. You see, as far as as of now, all the orders they have received uh, have been fulfilled, delivered, or picked up. You know, so, and the process is very simple. They have their own, they get their own uh, own driver, own delivery person, and that person just goes around for the delivery. They get to set up the mileage that they want to deliver, one to two miles, so they can control the quality of the experience all the way. And the biggest benefit of it is that they get their own customer list. Customer, this is like real customer. Anybody that orders from them, they control the whole thing as compared to all, all the other platforms that, that are out there, that you only get the orders. You don't get to see the customer's list, you know? So they're pretty much promoting your business by getting your audience that they can promote, retarget re re and promote other restaurants. So it's completely different, but this gives you full autonomy of the all, like you control your marketing, you control your audience, and every like 360 control of the whole thing. Amazing. Yep. And 
and as far as like settings, right, you can just go on the back end and set up anything. You see, this is online. If you feel, feel like you have a lot of orders, you can just go switch it off. People will still be able to see the menu, but they're not going to be able to order. You can go change your business hours. If you want to change anything in your menu, it's like right away. You can edit. If you, you run out of something, you can just take it off the menu right away. And it's like, you don't have to be on on the phone with customer support for hours. Try to, oh, we want to change the menu here. We want to do this. This is like everything. Very self-explanatory. Newsletter built in. Newsletter built Beautiful. in. Beautiful. Like, because, because you want them to be able to use their audience. Use the audience. Yeah. You know, so. Well, th th this this is this is really exciting to me. Can I do a, a quick yeah. take here? Look at this beautiful restaurant that you designed for them, or this beautiful website. I, I looked at it. and I said, "Beautiful restaurant, <laughs> right?" Because it's so immersive, and you're going to find out so much more about Mohammedi's marvelous design skills and how you're going to be able to take advantage of them in the very near future. And we're going to find a way that if you guys want to uh, reach out and help um, uh, restaurant business owners, um, that you can use this as a lead-in to. Uh, to say hello to them. So I'm gonna grab Mohammed's computer here for a second. I'm, I'm gonna turn off the, the web share and just give everybody kind of a, a final final goodbye. Uh, let's see, sharing, I think it's frozen somehow. It's frozen. Use yours. I'll just use yeah, mine, yeah. I'll just use mine. Yeah. You, you can even just log out. Yeah. It's almost easier. Oh. Okay. Yep. Okay. Are you muted? Yeah. Okay, you're on. All right, good. All right, let's let, let's have a th uh, three cheers and a thank you for Mohammadi. He showed you that app that he himself, he has no partners on it. He did it himself with, with his team that he developed. And that's going to be something the Rainmaker's going to be able to take care of. I want to give everybody uh, n another chance to, to thank Mohammadi. Mm -hmm. came all the way out here. Mohammadi and I are going to get on Greg's webinar and then we're going to head over to Machine Gun Mike Phil Same uh, over at Groove. And, uh, you know, money's flying around all over the place out there. We, we want to see you have incredible success. Thank you to Greg for coming on with the three cheers news uh, about uh, even more sales that, that uh, have come into the hundreds of thousands of dollars more um, with, with what you're exactly learning on your workshop. Your next workshop episode will be any time now. It'll either be later this week or, or uh, uh, early next week. And uh, it's just, you know, it's an exciting time to be alive. Uh, it's, it really is, um, you know, Megan coming on here, what a spectacle uh, she put on. Really, really special what we've got, got going on here with Maps Rainmaker. And now for those of you who want to jump into the full coaching with Greg Morrison, that's at trafficsunami.com slash Rainmaker. That's also exclusive, of course, for Rainmakers. Uh, you can jump in the full coaching. Um, I'm going to be jumping on with Greg, and then we're going to head over to see Machine Gun Mike Phil Same uh, at Groove, and, and, and we, we have a uh, more uh, incredible plans and more integrations, just like Mohammed said. Uh, we say these days that you either you know integrate with something great like us, uh, if there is anything else like us, I don't know, but integrate uh, with us, um, or 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 it's like sand, sand is like slipping through your fingers, it's disintegrating, right? Today we came together, uh, you know, friends in the city on a hill, um, you know, the great uh, you know Facebook uh, comment thread where people are positive and cheering each other on. Um, this is an exciting time to be alive. It's a crazy time to be alive. But we are led by one David Mills, um, and, and David is the great strategist. And uh, David created this as his masterpiece, um, and we have it here for you today. And we're so happy uh, for, for uh, rainmaking to become a way of life for you. So thank you to everyone for coming on. Double, triple, quadruple thanks to Megan for that uh, lights out, um, uh, performance, that, that that incredible training and examples that she gave us, and Mahomedy for this big eye-popping reveal that really, really opens up uh, helping customers and also uh, like restaurant customers and also really opens us up to what a phenomenal talent that we have with having phen uh, phenomenal Mahomedy in our community and it, it, more and more that's going on behind the scenes. Uh, we're, we're a buzz with, um, with happenings here. So I want to thank everyone for jumping on. And uh, uh, those of you who jump in on Tsunami, I will see you inside of Greg's webinar starting in just a few minutes. And if you're Director's Cut eligible, you can currently email me at omg at omgmachines.com and I'll send you the link. Uh, okay, we will see you uh, in two weeks on the, the uh, Monday webinar. Uh, so, you know, uh, two weeks from day. And uh, the, the, the soonest you'll see me will be uh, almost right away 
um, at, uh, at you know, the next uh, workshop, the next Terminator SEO affiliate and e-commerce workshop uh, episode, which will be coming up later this week or early next week. Thanks everyone so much. God bless. And uh, I will see you in the Facebook group.